So what do we have here? We've got rotary tool cutting discs. Now we can get our bolt out. Hopefully. Welcome back to Johnny's Stubborn XJ. When I was a young boy, a school teacher changed my life forever. When he brought it to school, a moped engine and put it into the workshop vice and then started it up with a piece of rope. And the smell and the sound changed my life forever. Okay, let's try and do this. Doesn't seem to be doing a lot, does it? Oh, that seems to be a waste of time. All it's doing is scratching it. Not fucking cutting through it, it's just scratching it. <sighs> no way I'm going to get that in there. I think my only option now is to drill it. Drill a line all the way down. Oh God. Give me strength. Come on, give me strength. Make me get through this. Let's try another drill. Let's try another drill. All my drills are blunt. And let's put some machine oil in that. I think we're through. You can tell when the metal starts spinning out, don't you? You can tell when you're through because the metal starts winding out rather than coming up as dust or grit or whatever you want to call it. Violins. <laughs> the things you have to do to restore a motorcycle, eh? 
the things we do for love. Uh oh. I'll leave that to soak and go and get a cup of coffee. Yes, I'll be back after my coffee. Now I'm just playing dot to dot with the drill. Trying to go for all the holes and uh, split it open basically. Let's leave that to soak for a bit. Well, still been on it for hours, not managed to move it, but managed to drill it like that. So hopefully I can get a vein all the way across. Just filled it with oil again. Just leave it to soak. And I'll be back with an update. Do you know what? I think something's just moved because that's spun round. And now there's a gap down this end. So something's moved, hasn't it? Yes. I think we might be free. Please be free. still don't seem to be free. Oh, come on. Please. I'm begging you on my hands and knees. Oh. I'll be back in a bit with an update. Look at that thing. Couldn't be any looser, could it? No, it's just trapped in this bush. I ain't got a clue what I'm going to do. Oh, just a thing. I've got a thing. This is not the same day as it was before, just a minute ago, a second ago. This is now five days later. And yes, the bolt is still stuck in there. And what I've been doing is soaking it and soaking it and soaking it, lying it over. And like there's a little well there when it's lying down, just filling that with WD-40 hour after hour and it still won't keep budge and now I've managed to move the bolt you can see the gap down between the bolt by just get it in position hammering my screwdriver down the crack that sort of started it off then hammering my chisel down it 
and that is the furthest this bolt has ever been out. I'm going to call this the two week bolt, the fortnight bolt, because it took a fucking fortnight to get it out. I haven't even got it out yet, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But it has moved, as you can see. So hopefully, in my next update, we will be all happy and singing songs. Okay, people, welcome back. Still no closer to getting the bolt out. What a mess. I have found some of these uh, spacers online. Five pound or something, I bought one. So what I've decided to do is, see that little crack there? See the frame bracket and the little crack behind it? Let's try to get the Dremel in there cut all the way through without damaging the frame bracket and then hopefully the engine will fall out of this bracket that's my plan cool plan number 47 Let's get on with it. Okay then, I don't know if you can see that. After about 10, 12 minutes, that's how far I've got. So what I'm going to try and do now is get the socket back on the bolt, move it around a bit, let the Dremel cool down, and then do another 10 minutes. And if I can get the engine past this bracket, I should be able to get the engine out and with the engine out I'll have a lot more options with that bolt of trying to get it out won't I because I'll be able to get to it at the moment I can't get to it at all like I say I've got a new one of these bushes rubber bushes so carry on regardless update I haven't actually got to the bolt yet, I don't think, but I think I'm getting this flange washer out of the way, sort of thing. If I can break that off, then I might be able to get to the bolt. So, and get that out and then I'll uh, give you another update in a bit okay update I'm nearly through the bolt so I'm lying the bike down I've put some uh, engine bolts back in but they're only loosely put in so I don't want the bike upside down and the engine falling out and smashing open door so I've lied the bike down now I'm just gonna try and cut the rest of the way through this bolt yes it's a lot older than it looks if you could get the angle grinder in there you'd gone through it in seconds I don't think I'm anywhere near through it yet Okay, so I've got the ratchet on the end of the bolt. This is like six hours later from the last time you seen me. I'm gonna put got the mole grips on the bottom of the bolt down there if you can see them. Down there. There's the bolt, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try and get on the bolt. I've cut through it as much as I can, just about, and now I'm just going to try and snap the bolt basically with the uh, ratchet. 
Let's see what happens. Feels like it's coming actually. Oh yes, baby. Oh yes. Ta-da! We have got the end of the bolt out. Now is that going to do us any good or not? Hopefully now I can get the engine out of this bloody frame. Or have I got to cut the... Uh, have I got to cut the other bolt first? Oh, please don't say that. Have I got to cut the other bolt at the other end? I'll leave it till tomorrow. I'll be back with an update. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that in there. It is actually the last mount. So hopefully if I get that off, then the engine should come out. Oh, I don't know. I can't see it myself, but because the bolt's still sticking through the other side. But, uh, well, let's just see what happens. This bloody bracket's in the way, look. Can't even get to the other one. Shouldn't really have my arm in there, should I? In case the engine drops. To get separation? Oh, I doubt it. Oh, this microphone wire is more trouble than it's worth. That's my zip. Well, Seems to have moved on there a bit, doesn't it? Well, considerably. Oops, that's that gun. Come on, please come out without trapping any of my fingers. Okay, so is this a special time in history? Gonna try and get the engine up past that, aren't I? Get the bolt past there and then I might get it here. Try to a lever. Oh my god! Please don't trap my fingers. is out of the frame. Yes! one and now it's two. Good fight but not good enough. Whoa. I think that's the oddest job I've ever done. Whew. So I think that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe because if you don't subscribe you won't be subscribed. See you again soon.
I see you in another life, brother.